Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Wal Rumya. Back in another lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Wahar, Kakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, to the 144,000 and one third men, women, and children. Shalom. Just got another lesson uh, going into uh, the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. As I had, uh, what was it, me and my bum was at camp yesterday. Um, a lady pulled up on her, pulled up on us, and I'm assuming she was from IUIC. And she greeted us saying Shalom, but she said, Most High Christ bless. And I simply corrected her and said, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Because the name that we receive from the heavens is Yahweh. And his son named Yahweh Shah, man. So let's get into the, the clip I took out from my uh, camp and we hear some scriptures, man. Just correcting the name of what they call on Most High Christ Bless, which doesn't mean a thing, man. You call it on um, a name or a reference or a title that doesn't mean anything, which the Lord said his name will stand forever. So let's get to the clip. Spirit of the Lord put on them to build these underground bunkers because their 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 lot is going to be in pitch, man. Their, their dwelling place, their houses are going to be in pitch. He's man. buying land too right now. Huh? He's trying to buy a lot of piece of land so he can. Uh, they say he's buying land so if anything ever happens, he owns half of this so he can get his throne back. I guess you could say. No, he ain't get no throne back. Verse eleven, this is John eighteen eleven. Said terror shall make him afraid on every side. And shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready or at, at his side. It says, It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out, man. So this, this pride is going to be destroyed, man. His confidence is going to be over with, man. It's going to be rooted out, man. It says, his confidence shall be rooted out. Shut the wall, shut the wall. Yeah, how about some of y'all shot? It was a uh, uh, Eve. She taught most high Christ, man. That's why I tell you, man. I mean, I ain't telling you. You put a positive elders on there. You got to call on your how about some of y'all shot, man. Because these people believe most high Christ blessed. That doesn't mean anything, man. That doesn't mean not a thing, man. Most high Christ blessed, that doesn't mean nothing. So you know what I'm saying? I told her, I said Shalom, she said Shalom. But the thing is, they're not teaching them the name of the Lord is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So when all hell breaking loose Jacob's trouble, you call it out most high Christ blessed, that ain't gonna be the thing because the Christian gonna be calling on Jesus Christ. You know the difference to the Christian. I'm gonna get into that this week. I'm gonna make some lessons on that. It's about that. I'm gonna make a cover. I'm gonna go hard on that because that right there alone, man. Even though she said and she may be sincere, believing in, 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 the, in the truth, but if you're not called on the right name, man, you you leave yourself to be judged, man. Because when all hell breaks loose, you guys believe uh, people gonna be called on Jesus Christ, man. JC, and you called on Most High Christ, bless. Man, yeah, like the possible ball, a possible ball would say somebody, something happened to them. And look, you're so major there, man. Because you lead people to the destruction. You're leading people to destruction. That was going to be my next word I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? I cut it short because I was kind of like editing. But it don't matter, man. The point is, you can't be called on this, <laughs> called on first false gods and titles of gods that you made up. And thank you, you're referencing your how about Shemi Awa Shah, man. The power of all, the earth. Let's get it right here. This is Psalms 8 in verse 9. It says, How about Shem Yahweh Shah? Our Lord is excellent. His is thy name in all the earth, man. How about Shem Yahweh Shah? The name is excellent in all the earth, man. In all caps, man, you look that word up. It says, it says Jehovah, but we know it is to be Yahweh. That name is Yahweh, man. That was the name that was given to Moses. And it was also given to us in this time to call on. Because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is going to bring great destruction upon all the earth, man. But we know Babylon the Great is going to be utterly wasted, man. But this is going to be the, the main place 
where the deliverance is coming from, man. And if you're not calling on the true and right name, which is Yahweh, being the Father and the Son, being Yahweh Shah, if you're not calling on those names, you're not going to be delivered, man. You're not going to be delivered if you're not calling on the right name of the Lord, man. Because in the time of Jacob's trouble, if you call in any, you call on any other God besides the true living power, the Lord is not going to have mercy upon you, man. Because you had time and you had the understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because it was preached and throughout the entire globe, man, before the end came. This is uh, Romans 9 in verse 17. It says, for, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. See, the Lord raised up Pharaoh for one purpose, man. So his name can be declared throughout the entire globe. That's the reason why he let, he raised him up, man. Not to give him power to um, to conquer and do all these things that Esau is trying to do. But he's doing the same thing he did to Pharaoh to the Edomites, man. He raised he raised him up just to show his power, for his name could be declared throughout the entire globe again, man. That's why the, why the, uh, the harlot Rahab, she she heard the, the name and power of, 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 of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. And this is the word declare. And it's just a definition of uh, declare, which is G1229. It says declare meaning to carry a message through, announce everywhere, through places, through assemblies of men, etc., to publish abroad, declare. So he raised up Pharaoh so his name could be declared throughout the entire globe, man. He raised Pharaoh up just for that purpose. 17 again, it says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. So he's raised him up just to destroy him, man. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So Pharaoh was raised up for the Lord name, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to be raised up and declared throughout the entire globe, man. That was the whole purpose of Pharaoh. That was the whole purpose of Pharaoh, man. And that's the same purpose that he gave to Pharaoh, he gave to the Edomites, man, Esau, Edom, raising them up just to show his power in him, man. This is uh, Exodus 9 and verse 6. It says, And Yahweh by Shem Yahushah did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died. But the cattle of the children of Israel died not. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. See that? So the Lord raised him up. And he continued on and on. He kept doing it to him just to raise him up. But the point is, he made a separation between the, 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 the Egyptians and the Israelites, man. So he was raising him up to destroy e uh, um, e the Egyptians and save us, man. He made a separation between the people, man. And that's the reason why we have the name, man. He didn't give the name to the Egyptians. He gave it to the Israelites, man, the children of Israel, man, that we would call on that name in our time of need, man. And he did it again, man. This is Psalms 106. Let me get to it. Psalms 106. Because everything the Lord does is has a purpose, man. He don't he didn't give us his name just for just for to say, okay, they got my name and that's it. It's a purpose for everything, man. The Lord is perfect in his doings, man. He is perfect. This is Psalms 106, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. And that's the same thing our people in Babylon the Great. They don't understand the wonders of the Lord, man. They don't understand the name that he given us has, has power in it, man. 
He says, they remembered not the multitude of thy mercies. And I showed you a mercy. He killed the Egyptians' cattle, and he, and he didn't kill any of the Israelites' cattle, man. And our people forgot what the Lord did in Egypt, man. Verse 7 again, it says, Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even, the red, even at the Red Sea. It says, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. He didn't save them. He didn't save us because of us, because we just his children. No, he did it for his name's sake, man. That's why he gave us, given us this name, man. This important and beautiful and excellent name, man. And that's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being the Father and the Son being Yahweh Shah, which the angel himself personally came and delivered that name to his his parents, man. You read about that in Luke one, man. That name was sent from, from the heavens to Mary and Joseph, man. Personally. Eight again, it says, nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power be known, man. See, he made his power to be known, man. That's why he raised up Pharaoh, man. Nine, it says, he rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of, the, of him that hated them and, he re, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. He saved us from the hand of the enemy, man. For his name's sake, man. It's plain, man. And that name wasn't Most High Christ blessed. He didn't, he didn't show his power for his name's sake and say Most High Christ blessed. No, man. He's raised up his name, Yahweh, to live forever, man. We're going to get that. He says, the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. So the Lord may raise Pharaoh up to show great judgment, man. And that's why we wanted our people from the judgment the Lord is going to bring. Because this time, you won't be held um, uh, just basically exempt because you are Israelite. Because two-thirds of our people are going to be put to death on the side, man. So it's, it's the time to wake up to the truth and understand who you are and what the, what his name is, man. Because just knowing you're Israelite is not enough, man. Knowing you're Israelite is not going to be enough, man. You're going to have to know the name of the Lord, man. Call on that name and reference the name, man. And do the will of the Lord, man. Verse 12, it says, Then believed they his words. They sang his praises, man. They sang praise to the Lord once they seen the power. And they're going to do it again, man. But this time, you're going to be judged and you might be in the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh as well, man. You're not going to be, you're not going to get exempt just because you're an Israelite, man. That time is over with. The Lord is going to show great power, man. And this is a time to repent and return to the Lord and call on a true name. And if you're following someone that call on another name besides you, how about Shimmy Al Shah? You need to run for their group, man. And that's plain, man. That's plain. This is Nehemiah 9. And I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, And did us see the affliction of your, our fathers in Egypt and heard, us thy, and heard us their cry by the Red Sea. And they weren't calling on uh, Most High Christ Bless or Jesus Christ or Christ that was calling on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai at the Red Sea because that was the dead end. They had no other place to turn. He says, and showed signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and all his servants and on all the people of his land. For thou knowest that they dealt proudly against them. So didst thou get thee a name as it is this day, man. And that name is not changed, man. We read earlier about him showing his judgments on, our, on, 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 the, on the enemy, man. For his name's sake, man. So the Lord is doing this for him. He doing it for him, man. But if you're joined to him, you will be one as he is one with Yahweh Shai, man. We're going to get that too. 
He says, so thou dig, did us. Let me get that another transfer. It says, so thou did us. So did us thou get thee a name as it is this day, man. Let's get this another translation, man. New Living Translation, he says, so displayed marvelous signs and wonders against Pharaoh. See that these signs and wonders are against Pharaoh, man. Just like it is this day, man, against the Edomites. His officials and all his people, for you you knew how arrogantly, how arrogantly they were treated our ancestors. He says, you have a glorious reputation that has never been forgotten. See that? That name has never been forgotten. That reputation that the Lord showed his power on his enemies has never been forgotten, man, even to this very day. He says, you, great, good news translation, he says, you worked amazing miracles against the king, against his officials and the people of his land because you knew how they oppressed your people. And that's exactly what Esau Edom is doing now, man. And that's what we warning you to turn away from my enemies, man. They're finna be judged, man. And some, he says, a, a miracles, <laughs> miracle works, man. He says, you won, then the fame you still have today, man. See that? The name of the Lord is still in the earth today. So didst thou get thee a name as it is this day, man. So his fame and his name still stands to this very day, man. It still stands to this very day, and that's Yahweh. In his son's name, Yahweh Shai, man. And Lord willing, it be edifying that I, I, I make that plain in this lesson. This is Exodus 14. Get to it. It's Exodus 14, and I'm gonna drop down to verse 30. This thing like slow, man. It says, Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, save Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which Yahweh by Shem Yahushai did upon the Egyptians and the people feared Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and believed on Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and his servant Moses, man. So when the Lord showed his great marvelous power, nobody's going to be called on the most high Christ blessed or, or, or Cesar Bozier, or Christ or Jesus. They're not going to be called on their name, man. They're going to be called on Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. And you best believe Nathan in his, his, um, Nathan, his, uh, I guess you would say his uh, bishops or leaders uh, or his elders, man, are not going to be called on the Most High Christ blessed, man. They know the name. That's why they changed their names to Hebrew names because they know that name is very important, man. But they, they took the bag, man. They took the 50C3 and their name cannot be uttered no more, man. But we know the Lord is a, a man of power, man. So if you took the bag, you're not going to be able to change the last minute and say, oh, oh it ain't most called Christ blesses uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. It's going to be too late, man. And the Lord tell you, tell you he never knew you, man. You never gave him reference in the earth, man. Verse uh, Exodus 15 and verse 1, it says, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and spake, saying, I was saying unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, for he have triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea, man. And we seen it was they was dead on the seashore, man. That's the end of Isaiah uh, Exodus 14, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahushah is my strength and song, and is become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him and habitation. My father's power. And I will exalt him, man. And that's what we did. We made Yahweh by Shem our, Shai our habitation, man. And we exalted him, man. So, yeah, we get offended when somebody calls on the incorrect name of the Lord. Because if you were to turn, would the scripture tell you, if you were to turn back to the Lord, he would have been came and, and delivered us, man. But, you know, he knew that everybody wouldn't turn. But we just get offended because we are defenders of the gospel, man. 
from the apostles and elders of Great, uh, great Millstone on down, man. And you just when you hear another name, it's not referencing your how about Shemiel Shai, man. It's, it's like an eerie, eerie sound to you, man. It just rubs you the wrong way, man. Verse 3, it says, Yahweh by Shimei Shai is a man of war. Yahweh by Shimei Shai is his name, man. So if our Lord is a man of war, and that is his name, wouldn't you reference the, the man of war? Because def he's definitely coming for war, man. He's not coming down singing songs and hugging people. He's coming back to the earth for war, man. He's coming back for war. And you best believe if you're not calling his name and referencing him, as obedient servants and fearing the Lord, you're going to fear the wrath of the, of the war power. You how about Shimei Abishai, man? Let me get this right quick. This is Isaiah 42, man. Because the Lord is not coming back to hug people and dance and, and just drink. No, man, the Lord is coming back for war. Because if you're not calling him, you're calling his enemy. You ain't joined with him, you're, you, 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 you're, you're against him, man. This is Isaiah 42 and 13. It says, Yahweh by Shimei shall, shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. See that? He is jealous over his name, man. He's coming like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. So if you're not calling him on the right name, man, you're an enemy, man. Your enemy to the to the power, man. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once, man. So the Lord is coming back to destroy and devour, man. The Lord is coming back to destroy and devour, man. So if you're not teaching the correct doctrine or teaching the truth, the Lord is, is against you. The Lord is coming back to bring judgment to you. And that's just, and that's, just, that's the whole point of this ministry, man. Teaching you to fear the Lord, man. Warning you from the Lord. We're warning you from your how about Shemi Shai, man. We ain't warning you from the devil or no shit like that. No, we're warning you from the only power, man. And that's your how about Shemi Shai, man. This is uh, Philippians 2. And um, start at verse 6. It says, who, be, who being in the form of power, I got to get this in the, I gotta get this in the uh, NLT, man. It makes it even plainer. Started, I started verse uh, five. It says, you must have the same attitude that Yahweh Shah HaMashiach had. Though he was a power, he did not think to, of equal, equality with power as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the he, he took humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form. So the Lord came back as a man, man. As a humble man. And he referred to himself as a servant, man. He humbly, he humbled himself and obeyed the most high power. See that? We are men on the earth right now, man. And we have to humbly be obedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. And died as a criminal death on a cross. He says, therefore, power elevated him to a place highest, a place of highest honor, and gave him the name above all other names. So the Lord came low as a servant, just like we are, man. And he 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 accomplished what he was came what he came to do, man. But the Lord gave him a name above all other names. That's the point. And that name came from the heavens, man. That that at the name of Yahweh Shah, every knee should bow in heaven and on the earth and on earth and under the earth and every tongue declared that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of power the Father see that the Lord gave him above a name above every name 
in the heavens, in the earth, and under the earth, man. And that was Yahweh Shai, man. Because the heavens gave him, let me get that real quick, man. The heavens gave us this name, man. And we just read that he, he was given a name like better than any other name on earth, man. Above any name that was given on earth, man. This is um Luke 1. Let me get that past it. This is Luke 1 and 32. It says, verse 32, it says. Let me go up here. Verse 26, it says, in the sixth month of Elizabeth, no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, and it's John the Baptist's mother, power sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. See that? The angel, the most high power, Yahweh, sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth a village in Galilee to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said greetings. See that? So he appeared to her. She, he, she actually seen the angel. She actually seen the angel, Gabriel, and, and he, he greeted her, man. And told a favor, you a favored woman. This is an it's an NLT. If I didn't say it, it's the NLT. Because sometimes people, you, you got to get it, get a little, a little plainer for them, man. It says, "Greeting, favored woman, Yahweh by Shimei Osha is with you." So the Lord sent the angel to tell her this, man. This is a personal, this is a personal uh, message, man. <laughs> he says, "Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think." what the angel could mean don't be afraid mary the angel told her for you have found favor with the most high power you will receive you will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him yahweh shai the angel told her this you will name him this there's no way around it man she he told her personally you will name him Yahweh Shai. And he it's like and he will be very great and he will be called the son of the most high. So if he's called the son of the most high, his name has to be in the name of the son, in the name of the father, man. And that was Yahweh Shai, man. And plenty of scriptures break down what you know all the, the definition. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh mean he ex he exists. Yah mean he uh Hawa exists. Yahweh Shah, he salvation, he's deliver, he's savior. That's what it means, man. There's plenty of uh, plenty of videos where the you know apostles and elders go into the total breakdown of the name, where you know what I'm saying all the you know detail. I'm not gonna get into it now. But I can upload a video if anybody, you know, comment on the, leave on the comment board. I upload that video from one of the elders or apostles. They break down the name and the Hebrew characters and all of that, man. If you really want to get detailed in it. End of um, 32 again. He says he will be very great and will be and will be called the, most, the son of the most high. The Lord, Yahweh, power will give him the throne of his ancestor, David, man. And he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. And that's plain, man. His kingdom will never end. Let's get a couple more and I'm going to end it, man. And get back to the King James. And this is um, this is John 17. I, mean, I can get this in another new translation as well, but I'm just going to get it right here. Just make it, just make it clear, man. This is uh, John 17. This is a good scripture to go to for uh, John 3.16, man, because it's, it's talking about the certain world. It's, uh, this is John 17 and verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. See that? 
So the Lord didn't come for the entire world like Christianity tries to teach. This is Yahweh Shah speaking, red letter, Yahweh Shah. He says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. And this is the name he gave to this, his elect, man. Let me get to what he says. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all thine are th all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And that's the ones that's calling the true and right name of Yahweh by Shem who the Lord Yahweh chose, man. He says, and now am I no more in the world. See that? The Lord is gone, man. He prayed for the elect. He says, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep them, so I can keep through thy own name, those whom thou hast given me. So why would Yahweh shall tell Yahweh to keep them in your name? Because his name is has power, man. And that's why we preach to you, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it up in the red letter because I don't want nobody to say that Yahweh Shai didn't say this, man. This is red letter, man. And this is a New Living Translation. It says, my prayer is not for the world. So he wasn't talking about everybody. Even all the, all the Israelites, he wasn't talking about everybody, man. So that cuts John 3.16 to the T. My prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me because they belong to you. And that's the elect belong to Yahweh. Now the elect is given to Yahweh Shah. It says, all who are, th are mine belong to you and you, gave, and you have given them to me. So they bring me glory. See that? We call on the name of the Lord. We're giving the Lord glory, man. Yahweh Shah, man. He says, now I am departed from the world. They are staying in the world, in, in this world, but I am coming to you, Holy Father. See, his name is Holy, man. He says, you are, you have given me your name. Hold on, let me read that one more time. You have given me your name. I gotta, I gotta say that one more time, man. You have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name. Woo! That's heavy, man. That is heavy, man. So we calling on the names that was given from the heavens, man. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. And he told Yahweh to protect them through your name. So you have to be called on the right name to be protected. You have to call on the right name to be protected. You can't just be saying most high Christ bless and be protected. This is how it's, this is what he said, man. Now protect them by the power of your name. So the name has power, man. It's not a random name that was just given and just said, well, Oh, just man, just my name you how and go on about your day. No, man. The name has power. The power is in the name Yahweh by Shem Shah. That's the names that we're going to be protected in the time of Jacob's trouble and beyond, man. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. Woo! So Yahweh Shad has told you, when he was on the earth, he protected the elect by the name the Lord gave him. And now that he's gone, he said, protect them in the name that you gave me. Man, if you can't get that, man, you... <laughs> It ain't meant for you, man. It ain't meant for you, man. 12 again, man. This is this is man, this is heavy, man. He says, during my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that not one of not one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. So if you're not protected by that name, 
You're going to be the one that's headed for destruction, as the scripture foretold, man. Jacob's trouble, man. All hell breaking loose, man. But the elect are going to be protected by that name, man. The power of the name, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's heavy, man. Let me get one more. As a matter of fact, let me go back so I can make it even plainer for the scripture that I got lined up after this, man. This is um This is um same same John 17 and 11. And this is just in the and this is in the King James. It says, And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own th keep through thy own name those who thou hast given me, that they may be one, that they may be one as we are. See that? That they may be one as we are. And what, hold on, let's get Deuteronomy 6, man. Deuteronomy 6. Because we call on it, we, we, we pray to the Lord, man. And we ask the Lord to be one with him as he is one with the Yahweh. Look at it, the beautiful, I mean, the app froze up. Let me see if I can get that back, man. Man. Let's see if I can get it back. And I always kind of, as soon as I get the rolling. This is Deuteronomy 6. There's a, a point I wanted to make right here. Because once you come come come, come into this truth and believe and have faith in your how by Shem Yahweh Shah. Call it on the right name, believe it in the right doctrine, you become one with the Lord as he is one with Yahweh. This is Deuteronomy 6, and I'm going to start at verse 4. I mean, I can get this in another translation too, it's make it even plainer, but I'm going to get it right here in King James. It says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh by Shem Shah, power is one, Yahweh by Shem Shah. And that's where it goes into Shema, Yasharala, Yahweh, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Akud. Lord our God, the Lord our God is one. And that's what this is, man. We are one with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. The elect. Here, O Israel, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, our power is one Lord, is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And I just told you, Shema, Yasharala, Yahweh, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Akud. And thou. Shall love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah thy power with all thy heart, man. That's with all your mind, man, and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And that's loving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Not no Most High Christ bless. It says, and it says, and those words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. See, the names of the Lord should be in our heart. That's our mind imprinted, man. Embedded in your heart, man. But it's going to tell you because it's the whole point of that, man. The name, It's a point to the name, man. He says, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. This is when you're supposed to tell your children this. When thou sittest in thy house, when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou raisest up all day long, you're supposed to speak of the Lord, man. He says, and thou shalt, in Shlach, it says, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. You should, you, you can put a, a, a tassel on your arm, man. You know what I'm saying? Of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. We have necklaces. We have a Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, the names of on it. He says, he says, and they shall be a frontal between thy eyes cont continually on your mind. He says, and thou shall write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Everywhere you should have a name, you howl by Shem Yahweh If you don't have it physically, bro, you should have it in your mind, man, to know that this is the power, man. Let me get to it. He says, and it shall be when the howl by Shem Yahweh thy power shall have brought thee into the land of, which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities. And that's what we're going to go back to, man. 
He says, which thou buildest not. See that? We're not going to build up the kingdom of heaven. The heathen are. He says, in houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not. See that? The, we finna go back in style, man. Everything that we finna get is not going to be, we're not going to use our hands, our, our, our labor to do anything. He says, in wells digged, which thou diggest not. In vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not. And, and this is this is the blessing that we finna receive, man. But it's all behind Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. Let me get to it, man. It says, and when thou shalt have eaten and been full, then beware, at least thou forgettest Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. See that? See, a lot of men have forgotten the true and living power because they've got fat. They've got fat off the, uh, the idols of this land, man. And now they they forgot the Lord, man. Let me continue on. It says, be, then beware, at least thou Forget us, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua. And we don't never supposed to get our power, man. He says, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. He says, thou shalt fear Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, thy power, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. See that? We have to pray to the Lord in his name, man. Ye shall not go after other gods, man. Call on Christ, call on Most High Christ, best. call on Jesus. The Lord forbid it that, man. He says, ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are around about you. For Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power is a jealous power among you. Least the anger of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth, man. So if you call on another God, the Lord is going to destroy you off the face of the earth, man. You're going to be destroyed, man. So Lord, when I establish the names, man, being the Father is Yahweh, and Bahashem in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh being the Father, Yahweh Shai being the Son. Why, if you want to say Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, it means Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And practice those names and teach these names to your, your children, man. Because the Lord is, is only dealing with those as, as in, entrusted with his name, man. Yahweh Shah spoke it for itself, man. From his mouth, he said, protect them by the name and power that you received, that we receive. And that was that name, man. So Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to end it there, man. Shalom. Shalom.